Easy, easy, welcome back to the Rat Cave. It's Ratsy here for DJ Kit and today I am looking at the mind blowing, the first ever latency free wireless headphones from III, they're called the TMA2 Studio Wireless Plus. So these headphones are the first ever completely latency free wireless headphones. If you don't know what latency is, it's basically that little gap between say, pressing the key on a keyboard and then hearing it in your headphones or you see a lot of sort of latency settings and stuff within DJ softwares when you're scratching in DVS mode you know you want as tight uh, a latency as possible because otherwise uh, your action goes out of sync with the music so these TMA2 Studio uh, Wireless Pluses are the first ever latency free headphones can it be done? I mean I was like surely there'll be a little bit of latency these have absolutely blown me away. So let's get into the video. I will explain how they work, how to put them together, what you get in the box, and um, all of the essential features that you need to know about these headphones. Let's get into it. So III worked alongside the legend uh, Richie Horton to create these Studio Wireless Plus headphones. So, I mean, you know that that's a pretty good input from someone like Richie Horton, but they also do work alongside loads of other uh, artists like DJs and producers and stuff um, to develop their whole headphone range. But yeah, these uh, Studio Wireless Pluses can be used three different ways. They can be used, obviously, the wireless, completely latency free, um, Bluetooth, and also you can use them uh, wired like with this coil cable here, which comes in the box. So let's have a little look here. As you can see, these are completely uh, modular, these headphones. So here they are in their complete modular state. Um, when you actually buy these headphones and you get the box open, they are spread over six different little black bags, uh, and then you put the headphones together yourself. This is a really, really good thing because, you know, the same with any kind of modular headphones, if something breaks, then you can buy a replacement to, to fix it and not have to buy a whole new pair of headphones. But also, if you do have the uh, TMA2 headphones, like not these uh, Studio Wireless Plus versions, you can actually buy the headband and this transmitter here to turn your TMA2s into this Studio Wireless Plus um, upgrade. So well worth looking into that if you do own the TMA2s. So yeah, this is what you get in the box. Um, starting from the top, you get this bag to, to carry the headphones in. Um, the coiled cable for when you wanna plug them in rather than using them Bluetooth or wireless. The headband uh, itself, which is where all of the technology lies in here. This is the wireless transmitter, which comes with this cable to um, plug into whatever you're using it with, but we'll get onto that in a minute. This uh, USB-C charger, which is what you use to charge both the headband and this transmitter. Just want to say at this point, it's a shame that they didn't actually give you two um, so that you could charge them both at the same time. But, you know, a USB-C is pretty common these days, so I'm sure that you can find another one laying around somewhere. Uh, and then down here, you've got the cups uh, split into four different pieces here. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to put them together. So we'll start with the cups here. Um, as you can see, the cups have got a little sort of dent in them so you can, so you know exactly where to put them on. And then they literally just go in like that. As you can see, the cups have got these little, um, these little sort of bits out here which stick into the holes here. Literally that easy. Then um, the red bit on the headband here is for the right hand side and then there is a red, I don't know how well that's come up in the camera, but there is a red um, bit inside the right hand cup as well. So then you just slide them on like that and then plug the cable in like that. Do the other side. And there you have it. That's your headphones put together. It is literally that easy. Uh, the same as any headphones, you know, you sort of move these up and down depending on the size of your head. Um, I've got a bit of a pea head, believe it or not, but these fit pretty nicely, uh, but I'll get onto the comfort in a minute. So on this headband along the top here, you have three buttons. To turn the headphones on, you press and hold this middle button for three seconds. There we go. 
So there's a little LED here which tells you when it's white, it's in the wireless latency free mode. And then there is a little switch under here that you turn when it's blue, it's in the Bluetooth mode. Um, underneath the other side of the headband over here, this is where the uh, USB-C charging port is to plug it in and charge up the headphones. So the other two here are for um, volume. So obviously the one on the top here is to turn the volume up and the one on the top here is to turn the volume down. So as I've mentioned already, you can use these headphones in three different ways. You can use them Bluetooth, you can use them uh, latency-free wireless mode, uh, or you can use them with the cable which is included. Uh, so let's start with Bluetooth mode. So as I said before, you use this switch under here to flick over to the Bluetooth mode. You know when it's on Bluetooth mode because the LED turns blue. So when these are in Bluetooth mode, you obviously need to pair them with your device. And to do that, you press and hold the two buttons at the top here, so the middle and the one at the top, and then they should appear in whatever device you're using this with. So, you know, if, if it's your phone, you just go onto your Bluetooth, find the headphones, select them, you're ready to go. Now, when you are using these headphones in Bluetooth mode, you have actually got 80 hours worth of battery, which is pretty decent. It takes about three hours to charge these headphones to 100%, and that is when you get your 80 hours, obviously, from 100%. Um, they're Bluetooth 5, so, um, you know, pretty quick, pretty good, uh, and the range on them is about 10 meters. So, you know, you can walk away 10 meters from whatever device you've got them paired with. So Bluetooth is, you know, a great thing, which we see a lot of these days with headphones, like I said, sort of earbuds, whatever. Um, but not ideal for DJing, not ideal for producing because of the latency. So enter the latency free wireless mode on these Studio Wireless Pluses. So to get into that mode, you flick that switch, like I said before, over here and the LED turns white. So when you are using these in this wireless mode, you get 16 hours of battery. So quite a lot less than when you're using them with Bluetooth, but I can't explain, like it's almost a bit bizarre. When, when they say that these are latency free, these are completely latency free. There's like no gap between sort of what you're hearing and what you're doing. It's, it's great. But anyway, yeah, 16 hours of battery. Uh, again, it takes three hours to, to charge them up to 100%. And the range uh, when using these uh, in the wireless mode is 12 meters compared to the 10 with Bluetooth. So you can literally be walking around your studio with these on, you know, going to your different instruments. But I'm again getting ahead of myself. I will get onto that in a minute. So to use these headphones in wireless mode, um, you flick them over there, the white LED comes on here, and then enter this transmitter. So this is what you actually have to hardwire into whatever you're sort of using. So um, if you're using like an audio interface, you plug this in to the headphone slot of the audio interface, and then you press and hold this button for three seconds, and there we go, it's turned on. This little bit here, by the way, USB-C to charge this up, this transmitter. So then now once this is plugged into whatever you're using it with, so let's say your audio interface, um, now these headphones are talking to that. And in effect, what this does is because it's completely latency free, there's no gap between the audio and what, it, it's, like, it's like having them wired in but without the wire. <laughs> so, you know, Studio Wireless Plus. So this transmitter itself has got 30 hours worth of battery when it's fully charged at 100%. Again, takes three hours to charge it to 100%. And this cable that you connect it with is included in the box. It's uh, 3.5 uh, mil on that side, and then it's actually 3.5 under here, um, but it does come with one of these adapters, which I'm sure that you will lose at some point. Um, but yeah, and do you know what? Like a little thing about that, when I was testing these headphones out, obviously with the majority of like studio equipment, like audio interfaces and stuff, you know, it is more common to have the, the uh, quarter inch jack input. But I was using these to play around um, sort of DJing and I was using them with uh, a DDJ 400, Pioneer DDJ 400, which has only got a 3.5 uh, headphone input. 
And um, so, you know, it is nice to sort of, uh, to have the option to have two. Um, and just while we're on the subject, DJing wireless headphones with no latency is just, it is absolutely amazing. Just to say, when you are using these headphones in the wireless mode, these buttons along the top here only control the volume. The top one obviously turns the volume up, the bottom one controls uh, turning the volume down. The middle button, it doesn't sort of stop the track or anything that, that you're playing like it does in Bluetooth mode. Now last but not least, the final way to use these uh, Studio Wireless Plus headphones is of course with this coiled cable which is included um, wired in. So, I mean, you know, pretty common, but uh, what is nice about these headphones is when you actually plug this cable in, you can have, you can choose which side to plug the cable into. So that's great if, you know, you've got a preferred sort of side to, to scratch with or whatever, you don't want the cable getting in the way or playing an instrument. Um, so to plug them in, you literally just put them under here and then you give them a little turn to lock them in. There we go, fully locked in there. And you know, you plug this into whatever you're using it with, your DJ controller or your audio interface or whatever. Again, adapter on the end, so you've got a 3.5 uh, mil or a quarter inch jack. So worth saying when you are using these headphones coiled like this, you don't need to have them turned on. So, you know, worth sort of having this coil with you in this handy little uh, bag here, uh, just in case the batteries run out on these headphones. So you don't need them turned on at all. However, um, what I did realize is when you do have them turned on, um, if you've got this headband switched onto the wireless mode, it is slightly quieter, like the volume ducks down a little bit, but there's actually no point in having them turned on anyway, because uh, the buttons on the top don't control the volume or anything when you do have them wired in. So obviously these are headphones. Headphones are headphones. You can use them with whatever you want to use them with. But I have to say, I mean, <laughs> proof's in the name really, I would say that these headphones are more suited to using in a studio. Um, you know, imagine sort of being able to have a pair of headphones walking around your studio, maybe your piano's over here, your keyboard's over here, but you've got a synth over there. You don't have to worry about being plugged into an audio interface or whatever. You know, you, there is zero latency, so whatever you're playing over here, you know, or over here, it's completely in your headphones as you're playing it in real time with no delay or anything. Um, and I mean, what a time to be alive. You know, you can sort of tell, as I said at the start, the input from Richie Horton and stuff, it just gives you the freedom to be able to walk around. And when you're in a studio setting, creatively, you want as much freedom as possible. I mean, you know, to be fair, I don't really see why you would need wireless headphones to use in a sort of DJ set or a DJ situation, unless you're maybe Steve Aoki and you want to throw a cake at someone you know, but still be queuing up the mix in your, in, in your headphones. And although we are seeing a few more wireless DJ controllers these days, like the Hercules DJ Control Mix, I don't really see someone who is going to be forking out the dollar for these headphones to be having a sub sort of 100 pound controller to be using them with. So what do these headphones sound like? They have got a really good stereo width. So like when you're wearing them, it's, you know, everything seems very wide. Um, and the low end is like sort of bassy enough, but doesn't take over the mix too much. And to be fair, there is only so much that I can say about these headphones in a video review, you know, for you to sort of, what you really need to do is like listen to them yourself and listen to how good they are. So what do they feel like to wear? I have to say they are so comfortable. Um, the cups here are Alcantara from Italy. My motherland, may I just say, so I am a little bit biased. But, um, but yeah, they're so comfortable on your ears. I mean, when I was testing these, I had them on for a fair few hours, you know, just listening to music on my laptop on my Mac, you know, I sort of did a little bit of like bits and bobs in Ableton with, uh, you know, like testing the latency and stuff. And as I said, I used them with a few DJ controllers to see what it felt like to DJ with them. So these Alcantara cups don't get soggy when you sweat in them. Uh, this isn't something, I mean, I did wear them for a little bit, but I didn't wear them for long enough or in a hot enough situation to sweat in them because, 
you know, big up to III for sending them to me, I've got to send them back and that would be pretty grim if they were sort of like covered in my sweat. But as I said, they are super comfortable to wear hours on end, whether that be a really mammoth long studio session. I mean, they didn't bug me at all. And I've had headphones in the past, you know, where they sort of, they start to be a bit uncomfortable. And also, I, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, I always wear a hat and these fit really nicely over a hat. You know, you can, um, you can push them in and out, like, on the headband to make them bigger and smaller. Um, and as I said before, they are, the cups are nice and tight, like they're just about over my ears. Um, they're not noise cancelling, but you know, they do take out quite a lot of the sort of uh, noise around you. And again, sort of going back to how these are more kind of studio headphones rather than DJ headphones. I mean, I'm a HD 25 man myself, have been for years and years. And something which I am always thankful with about the Sennheiser HD 25s is being able to move one ear because I sort of DJ, you know, like, like this. So um, not that these would, uh, not that I feel like these would snap because they are made really, really well. But I mean, you know, if they did snap, again, they're modular. So you would just replace whatever breaks and happy days. So to conclude, this is a pretty hard product for me to review over a YouTube video to express, you know, how good it is. There's not much of a sort of demo that I can do for you. You just need to listen to them yourself. But given that there is nothing else on the market that matches these headphones right now, and to be honest, with the artist behind the development at III, and to be fair, III is a company and all the tech that's actually implemented in these headphones, I can't see very many other manufacturers catching up with how good these headphones are, at least not in the near future. My only gripe with these headphones is that the volume on the actual headphones themselves is quite low in my opinion. But then, I mean, I have been DJing for sort of 17 years, so I am pretty deaf. Um, but I did find in the wireless mode, that is where the volume is at its lowest. So what I would recommend doing is uh, turning the volume up on the headband as high as it would go, and then actually using the volume control on your audio interface, or you know your mixer, or whatever you're sort of using these headphones with, uh, to use that as your volume control. Um, I didn't manage to get them distorted. Uh, I didn't manage to get them to hit their limit. Um, but I'm sure that there is a point where they will hit their limit. And also there is a slight hiss when you're using these headphones in latency-free wireless mode. Um, but of course, you don't hear any of that once you start playing music or putting sound through them. It's only when uh, you've got them on and there's no sound playing, you hear a sort of slight hiss. Not a game changer, didn't put me off, and to be honest, didn't even annoy me at all. It's just something that I noticed. So these are coming in at 300 pounds, which is pretty steep, but if you look at the quality, the technology, and the comfort of these headphones, I believe that they are worth the money, particularly for someone who spends a lot of time in the studio. I mean, there's sort of three important things in a music studio, in my opinion. A comfortable chair, comfortable headphones, and you know, good acoustics. Maybe four things if you include a beer fridge. But as I say, guys, you can only take my word for it. Please go and give these headphones a whirl uh, yourself. You will not be disappointed. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think about these headphones in the comments section. Uh, you know, what situation would you like to use them in? How do you feel about DJing completely wireless? Um, or, you know, how big is your music studio? Do you have a studio that's bigger than 12 meters? Like, you know, would you want more range on them? Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the alert button so that you get uh, notified whenever I put out a new video on the YouTube channel. Also, send this video to anyone who you think would be interested. You know, it all helps. So until next time, gang, you take it easy and I'll catch you soon. Peace.